All right, hey, Gratuitous here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up your knobs and sliders with what's called project links and global links, all right? It's important you understand the difference between them. A global link allows you to set up a knob or a slider to be used across any project, whether it is an old project or a new project. Really powerful for hands-on mixing. That is a global link. A project link is only for that one particular project, and I'll talk a little bit about the differences, all right? Before getting into the video, if you guys would like to learn FL Studio, check out my free book called Five Keys to a Successful Beat. So simple it becomes creative. Get it by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys. All right, so as you can see, I have sliders and I have knobs. This MIDI keyboard is the M Audio Oxygen Pro. This is the 49 key model. It also has semi weighted keys, which is really hard to find in a semi uh, in a 49 key model. If you would like to learn more about the M Audio Oxygen Pro, you can check my review in the description below, okay? All right, so here I have flex, and when I move a knob, look in the top left, you can see it's blue, okay? If I focus on the mixer, you can see that now it goes green in the top left, all right? Now, if I right click here, and we go link to controller, and if I move just any knob, let's say this one, you can see it's orange. So we have three different colors going on. And so I'll break down how this works, okay? So a global link is blue, okay? If the knob is not assigned to anything, it is green. And if you have a project link, then it is orange, if I select the right one. Okay, there we go. So you can see that this volume knob is moving right here, okay? So in order to set up any of these knobs, it's the same approach, except there's project links and global links. So if you want to set it up, you can simply just right click and you can go link to controller. That's what's called a project link. You can also see override global link. This used to be called override generic links in case you are looking at any other tu uh, tutorials out there. So if you were to click into um, override global link, this window pops up. It's a little bit different. And then if we come to this one, so link to controller, you will get the remote control settings. And once this is open, all you have to do is just move a knob and you're good to go. But let me break down how this works, okay? Now, the fastest way to set up any knob or slider, like if you want to set up, let's say you wanna set up the narrow, the tone, the darken, the pulser, like you wanna set all these up to your sliders or knobs really fast. You want to select multi-link to controllers. And as you can see, if I move one of these, you can see that it's uh, moved, okay? So it's actually adding it in. And then if we want to route these to a knob or a slider, you just do them in order. So if I were to move a knob or a slider, what happens is it becomes a project link. A project link is only for this project. And what makes a project link powerful is that you actually don't have to have the VST window open. Whereas if you are using a global link, the VST window has to be open. But typically if we are mixing, the window is open. So for example, you can see I use uh, Fab Filter plugins a lot and you can see that I actually have these um, set up. Oops, uh, that was because I had my um, multi-link to controller enabled. Okay, so let's hit hit the X, get rid of that. So for example, here is Fab Filter, and I have global links set up to get hands-on mixing. Okay, I teach you about this in my hands-on mixing in FL Studio course. But you can see if I move this knob, now it's orange. Okay, I did that by accident. And I'll show you how to fix that because what happened is all the other ones are blue. So you look in the top left and it's moving the ratio. The next one will be the attack. The next one will be the release. So I get this for hands on mixing. If I want to mix my, you know, my beat, I want to use compression, I want to get hands on, then I can get hands on right here. But I screwed up by accident. And, that, and again, that's only for this project. As a project link, you can see it goes orange. And you can see that the threat, this one should be controlling the threshold, right? We have ratio, attack release. So what's happening is because I clicked multi-link to controllers, we moved a couple of these sliders and added it in to kind of like a queue so that we can move our sliders in order. And if I disable that, and if I move this, you can see that it's working. And even if I focus onto the mixer, you can see it's still working. Whereas uh, the other ones won't be working. Okay. Cause you can see that this one is blue. This one is a global link. This one is a project link. Okay. So this one's orange. So the narrow is orange, the tone is blue, okay? So if I right click this, and if I remove the link to controller, and we're just gonna go reset, 
to go accept. So I've previously mapped this and it is a global link. You can see now, now it's blue. You can see here it is blue. And if I come to the mixer, you can see that I can't move them and it goes green, which means that it's not assigned to anything in the mixer. So a global link, you have to be focused in a window. And if I come back to the Pro C2, this is just a compressor, really, really awesome plugins by FabFilter. You can see that now the threshold is working. Okay, so in other words, because we set up a project link, it overwrote the global link. So a global link, um, let's just set them up here. So if I click here, and if we move this, we move this, we move this, let's just say we focus on just these three. If you wanna set up global links up here, you can right click, you can see you have the link to controllers, which is project links. Here is the global link. So let's say we want to set up global links. We want to have these knobs be used in previous projects and all new projects. We want to be able to get hands on as we're maybe programming this synth. OK, so you go over our global links and this window pops up. Now, in my opinion, I always like to enable the smoothing. It makes it look a little bit better on the screen. You can see that we have one of three, which means that I have set up um, the narrow, the tone, and the darken. Narrow, tone, darken, okay? I've disabled smoothing on this one. I'm going to move the knob. You can see that now we're on two, so I can go to the next one. Smoothing is enabled. Darken, you just move your knob, okay? So what's gonna happen is when we have this window focused, which is now blue, okay, look in the top left, that's a global, what's called a global link. If we were to close FL Studio, reopen it, go to another project, these work. You can see that um, this one, is a little bit choppy looking, whereas these ones are a lot smoother. It doesn't look too bad here, but I'll show you actually an example. Let's say we go to um, Pro C2. I'm going to go to the release. Let's go to um, this one, okay? So if I go smoothing and I go accept, you can see how choppy this looks, all right? Does not look very smooth. It looks very, very choppy. And if I right click and go smoothing, okay? And now it just looks way better. Okay, it's just kind of like a visual thing. Um, all right, so here we are. We have global links. And if we had a project link, let's just do pulser. So I'll right click on that. And you can just go link to controller or you can do it from this way as well. This way is pretty powerful if you want to set up multiple sliders or knobs. Uh, if you want to just do a single one, then you can just right click it. Okay, you right click. And then if it is assigned, you can always right click and you can click so you can see it has a check mark if you click it you can also come here and go reset okay if you if you want to remove it so let's say we want to set up the pulser so let's just say we go linked in controller we want this to be um if even if we close the window we want to be able to control this let's just say so i'll just move like this knob over here and again you can see it's orange whereas the other ones are blue but another thing is i am focused on this window so because i'm focused on it the global links work but watch this um, if I go focus on the mixer, it does not work anymore because it's a global link. We have to actually be focused on that window. But because the pulser was a project link, look up here how it's orange. And now the pulser is moving. Okay, so that's pretty much the differences between a global link and a project link. Global link allows you to set up your knobs and sliders to a particular VST. Or it doesn't have to be a VST. It could be like anything. You can like right click and go global link down here, um, but it allows you to reuse the knob or slider in any project before or after to get hands on mixing. It is so powerful, okay? A project link is only for this particular project. It also overwrites a global link and the window does not have to be open, okay? That's pretty much all you need to know regarding um, project links and global links and how to set up your knobs and sliders in FL Studio. One other thing I'll share with you is if you are setting up your uh, global links, FL Studio stores them in this location. Okay, so you're gonna go documents, image line, FL Studio, settings, mapping, generic, and then local. And then you can see that this is everything pertaining to the, um, the global links. So for example, let's say you set up FL Studio and everything is just all over the place. You can come here, you can delete this, and then you could start fresh. Or if you have gotten FL Studio super customized with your MIDI keyboard, and then let's say you want to upgrade to a new computer, you can simply you can simply just back this up 
and then drag it back in and then FL Studio will get all back up and running. All right, so that is project links and global links in FL Studio to get the hands-on mixing. If you guys would like to learn hands-on mixing in FL Studio in depth, and I'll just share with you quickly. So for example, if we do right click, you can see that you even have what's called the mapping formula. And this gets really, really technical, but you can use it to your advantage to fine tune the knobs and the sliders just a little bit more. Um, again, just check out my hands on mixing an FL Studio course, or you can join the platform to watch all my FL Studio courses. All right. Thanks for checking out the video. I'm gratuitous. I'm a recognized FL Studio trainer. Visit the website. It's gratuitous.com. And I'll talk to you in the next video.